Ahoy there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> How is everybody doing today? Okay, so, uh, late last night, the trailer for Nancy Drew game number 34 dropped. How long has it been since game 33 came out? What was that, four years ago, five years ago? Oh, it, no, it's been more I think so. I think it was 2019. Been, it was really? Uh, so I'm the only one here at the at, at the studio, but uh, Kay <laughs> Kaylee and Julian are able to call in, uh, and we are going to watch this trailer together. Um, yeah, sorry for my shit audio. I'm in and out of class right now, literally recording this in between two classes, and it's finals week. But this takes priority, damn it. Yes, it does. <laughs> so we'll give a little bit of context. Amen the, to that. Now, the Nancy Drew games, which we're all very big fans of here on this channel. This, if I know that there are some new arrivals to this channel. This is a Nancy Drew channel, and it always will be. <laughs> <laughs> this this series, we used to have like a release every six months. I think there was a time when they even did three games a year. And because of a change in the engine and some other things that happened, it has been five years since the last release. And game number 33, Midnight in Salem, was the subject of some controversy. But that... I'm willing to wipe the slate clean because of how much I love this series because game 34 trailer is here. This is the world premiere trailer and I saw this three trailer. minute trailer. It's a three minute trailer. Yeah, it's, pre it's pretty fucking awesome. Jelena. I scrubbed oh through God. it and I just saw screenshots and then I thought I'm not going to watch this trailer because it looks good enough. It looks better than Midnight in Salem, but I would rather go in completely blind. And then the discord told me you have to see this trailer immediately. And they told, they told us to record it. So, oh my gosh, yeah. So Jamie and I have not seen it yet. I've but really Kaylee been wanting has. to. Kaylee has yeah. seen the trailer. Correct. And, uh, I mean, Kaylee hasn't really spoiled anything at all about it, but I get the impression that Kaylee thought it was cool. Uh, otherwise, I think I'm just going to... Yeah, I, I, I liked it. I think you'll like it. All right. I will we'll say two, two things I should say, Julian. I believe that there is a release date at the end of this trailer. I don't know when it oh, is. Oh, no way. And I also think that there's some kind of hype beast activity in the trailer and you'll see what i mean when we get through it so i don't even know what that means we'll we'll, we'll watch the trailer and we'll find out so this is a, this is my yeah. first real viewing of this and julian hasn't seen a second of this trailer here we are e10 for ages 10 mild violence mild Ooh. violence guys are we here turning up in the beauty city of Prague. I'm so sorry. Yeah. One second. I'm literally just going to mute Julian's mic until the trailer's over cuz it's going <laughs> to it's going to <laughs> it's going to just drown out the trailer audio. Julian, I'm just going to make you a little bit quieter so that your rumbling doesn't drown out the trailer. All right, here we go. Mystery is yeah. so So it's in Prague. The city of mm -hmm. Prague. There are mysteries so steeped in history. They should be preserved for all to remember. Wait, this looks but so cool. those who would use the technology of this modern world. That guy's kind of a baddie, though. The powers of the past for their own dark. I'm already, I'm already seeing Black what looks like so many more puzzles. Been talking about an upcoming big score in a matter of days. And there is looks like the room. Oh yeah. Who can stop them? Are you Nancy Drew? I am. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. <laughs> We've seen like five people already. There's like ten suspects in, in this game. You explained what was stolen. Wait, really? It was my mother's Think. necklace that has now been replaced with fake gems. It has gone too far. What's this? Suspects. You will reach out to them and find out who stole the gems. Yeah, look at that. Oh That's like seven or eight people. A card. Dude. And footprints. Who's there? The necklace, it is the same as the first time I saw it. The jewels belong to the people. You must have heard about the gem forgeries in Prague. Not the usual tourist question. I'm not the usual tourist. That guy is Czech Paw. I'm gonna see. <laughs> I'd better be quick. This mark, it could be part of an ancient riddle. Oh, Our ghosts Ooh. were very clever. I do like that. We should get out of here. Oh yeah, I, I love the fact that we're gonna have some, some nights and shit here. I found this iron key. In our streets, there are secrets to unlock, lurking in every corner. I wonder if I'm looking in the wrong place. <laughs> That's gotta be a game over. Traditions are not changed <laughs> Trust no one. I have my work cut out for me. You can never Whoa, so well, hold up. I'm, okay, now we'll pause after, but that, that was cool. These days. Getting closer. <laughs> it is the puppet of death. The real monsters in Prague? 
Don't always look at. Oh my God. Sometimes the past. Something's following me. Should remain in the past. Okay, that was a phenomenal trailer. That was a pretty <laughs> hype trailer. Wow. Oh shit. Oh my god. Dude, that's like <laughs> that is like a good deal closer than anyone expected, I think. Not far. I'll literally be in finals. Rated E10. Okay, I'm going to just loop this and I'll pause May, it. May, May that's like 30 days away. Not no, even. That's less than 30 days. Yeah, that's, that's like, like 20 days. What am I saying? That's like three weeks. In okay. this, initial well, impressions. I uh, yeah. Sorry, you guys. My, you guys talk first. <laughs> okay, I I was very happy with the amount of suspects and puzzles they shown, and I thought the graphics were a good up update. Yeah. A big a big a big come up from Midnight in Salem. It looks good. I I do like Nancy's new voice actress. I don't think she's like Lonnie Manella tier, but I think she's she did a really good job in this trailer, and so I'm really excited for the game with her again. I believe her name is Brittany Cox, and she, I mean, she, you're never going to be as good as the original Nancy cast as Lonnie Manella. That's just such an iconic voice, but I think that she's definitely getting, finding her place in the role. Dude, it looks like a really good balance of night and day, creepy, and like modern, modernity. Yeah. And I just, I'm super excited. Um, Kaylee, your impressions. Just, there's so many different elements in the trailer to consume that I feel like this is probably going to be the. This has like a chance of being their biggest game yet, like their most involved one. And another thing that I'm looking forward to a lot is that there seem to be some significant, scary, spooky elements in this that I can't wait to see how they do, especially in the new graphical style. For sure. When I saw the alchemy symbols, I got so happy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right. Let me. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out the right way to put my screen. This looks easily like the most high concept Nancy Drew game they have ever made. Like I'm seeing mm -hmm. what looks like three different games in one here. We're seeing some sort of like cyber crime subplot with all these hacking and laptops and shit like that. Yeah. We're seeing alchemy symbols and like a bunch of people working at their businesses and jobs and shit. And then we're also seeing some what is this thing with the knight? There's like a, a knight in shining armor who's following Nancy like a like a fucking amnesia villain or something. He's just playing Dead by Daylight, it's cool. <laughs> no, okay, but like what is this? This they're doing this um this whole like something is following me thing. I mean I... Well that's what I mean by like spooky elements. I don't know. I feel like like I, I agree that I didn't think this was gonna be a remotely spooky game too, so that's kind of interesting. Have a have a look at this moment here. Um, let me just let me like that video real quick. The spiders crawling out from underneath the painting. Did you guys see that? I yeah, mm -hmm. I did. That's that, pretty sick. That has to be like a nightmare or something. I I have no idea how they're gonna tie that into this game. Like I, being attacked by spiders is the last thing that I would expect from what I've mm -hmm. seen in this trailer so far. Gosh, I'm so bad at what is it? Is it the period? So and there it is. Something I'm assuming is that each of these people that they show in this trailer aren't going to be, like, prominent suspects. Like, you know, how they did in Midnight in Salem, there was a lot of side characters. But well, if that's the case, I want to say the side characters are just, like, idle standby people were very, very poorly animated in Mid. And I thought characters looked really good in that trailer for a second. Well, okay, here's the thing. Um, it's a bit of a bargain. Why am I not subbed to the Nancy Drew channel? Let me sub that. <laughs> Um, it's, it's a bit of a bargain when you talk about what is gained and what is lost from the movement to the new engine. Because, of course, games 1 through 32 are point and click, and I believe they all share the same or similar engine. And then this is on the Unity engine, of course. And I don't know the idiosyncrasies of game design, especially not designing these games, but it seems like the big trend that we noticed from Midnight in Salem is that we got basically double as many characters as we saw in other games, but about half as many puzzles and already from this trailer and, and really and this is a, an opinion thing but puzzles are way more important to me than characters and in this trailer i'm already seeing what looks like way more puzzles than midnight in salem had 
like this alchemy business here. This is this is exciting to me. This feels like Curse of Blackmore Manor, just with that they're vengeance. taking that critique. Yeah, um, because really the the thing that killed me about Mid the most was that it had damaged the replay factor. That it mainly felt like a, a story walkthrough, and that there were only like five bona fide puzzles in the whole game. I, I especially think that this bit here looks really interesting. It's like a I don't know if either of you are familiar with The Room, but The Room is a 3D puzzle game made in Unity with a lot of these 3D sort of puzzles like this, and it looks very similar to the snippet they show right here. Dude, these nighttime scenes are really getting me excited. I am praying for different day and night tracks like they did in Midnight in Salem. I'll bet we get that, so yeah. Uh, um, that looks good. So so one thing that we should know, to call to attention is that Clearly, this is going to be like Midnight in Salem, where there are extras. Uh, in the other Nancy Drew games, there's usually four characters. Sometimes you get another, sometimes you are down to three. But there's four character models, and then literally no other people rendered. Midnight in Salem changed that, where... Gosh, I think Midnight in Salem had seven suspects. Uh, and that's not no. even... No, it had a lot of suspects, and that's not even counting... Not seven suspects. It had a lot of rendered people, like the Hardys. Let's, let's count it out. But... It had Tegan and May Perry, that's two. Uh, Alicia Cole. Alicia Cole. Judge Danforth, um, that's four. Yeah. His son, Jason, that's five. Yeah, five. And, and then the tour guide, I forget her name, the lady who dresses up like a ghost. Oh, um, wait, is a, Alicia is separate from the one that ran the coffee shop, yes, right? Yes, that's, I mean, that's Lauren Holt. That's Lauren Holt. And then there's okay, the so witch lady, wondering. Olivia. That's seven. And then you have Deirdre Shannon and both the Hardy Boys. So you could say ten rendered characters with dialogue in that game, not counting phone contacts. Seven of them are considered suspects in the mystery. It looks like we get a similar deal here. Okay. So, wow. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, Midnight and Sam. You had some forgettable suspects. <laughs> That's a, a fair critique, yeah. Um, but... She was the only character model I thought kind of just looked like a Barbie. Like, not really but Yeah, okay, but, 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 but listen to her talk, though. She's She's got an accent. Is she Russian? Most of them do, Jamie. Well, her, it's really there apparent with her. One who can stop them. Are you Nancy Drew? It's, I, don't know, I don't know Eastern European accents well enough. That could just be like the Prague that's, Czech accent, but that sounds Russian yeah. to my untrained ear. No, that's Dr. Spelko from... <laughs> Take over the Crystal Skull, the inferior yeah. Crystal Skull media. <laughs> True. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I mean... We might as well count it out how many people we see. Well, yeah, well, can you go to that suspects tab thing? Yeah, that that's fire? that's what I wanted to talk about. It looks like Nancy yeah. has like an updated notebook now. Yeah. I have suspects, okay, clues, okay. and achievements. Okay, well, great. There's four suspects right there, but I'm sure that's not all of them. No, you meet more as you go through because there's the guy with the glasses who looks like Czechoslovakian Paul or Pa. Um. So. We've got. I want to know who that, like Ryan Gosling chap is. <laughs> yeah, the guy with the bow tie. He looks like a magician or something. Uh, that lady's one of them. That's a good-looking character model. That that looks like a Ghost of Thornton Hall, Clara, which she reminds me of. <laughs> this guy, there's Paul. Danny DeVito. There's another one. I we don't know this guy. Mm -hmm. And this guy here. This this looks like eight suspects. Eight suspects or more. That's crazy. So. Yeah, really, the original Nancy Drew games have more of a premise, uh, a focus on puzzle solving, and the mystery is usually easier to solve, because, like I said, four suspects, you get, like, a one in four shot of being right if you guess. This game and Midnight in Salem are probably going to take more of a mystery approach to it, which mm -hmm. is very exciting for a first-time playthrough. Wow, this did get me excited, though. Yeah. Um... I mean, it's it's such a long wait for the next game, but I'll still see it. This is another character too. I think we're looking at ten suspects now. <laughs> She's got. Sure she, oh my gosh! Look at, on the look at the stickers. She's got a Will World yeah. sticker. Coco oh my Kringle. god! And Pacific Run. Cheese. Coco Kringle. Are there any that I don't know? Uh, that. Oh, she has a wait, she has a cathedral sticker. Yeah, that's like a secret organization. This looks yeah. like the uh, the bird, the upside down phoenix on the floor from Message in a Haunted Mansion. Imagine if people just walked around with, like, CIA stickers on their laptop. It's, it's a Kohlmeister <laughs> laptop. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no way. And then, I don't know what the, the dog is supposed to be. Maybe that's just Togo or something. Wait, I, it, she really wasn't in the suspects tab? No, she, I don't think she was. Because she's speaking with an accent. Or without an accent. 
That's the lady with the accent, Spalco, and then this girl is oh, different. Okay. I think we're looking at a 10 suspect game, which is very exciting. Well, let's not jump to that conclusion because maybe some of those characters aren't quite suspects and they're just side characters. But either we're, way, I'm we're just so excited. All right, that's fair. Um, something that I think deserves mentioning that you brought up, Julian, about the graphics in this. You say the graphics look very good. Uh, if this is anything like Midnight in Salem, then this is a performance-based Nancy Drew game with graphics. So there will be graphical settings, which means that if you're playing on... A t on a on a computer without good graphical requirements, then you're probably going to be looking at much lower poly, lower res graphics. Uh, <laughs> luckily, I'm. Were you about sure... to say? Were you about to say if you're playing on a TI-84 calculator? Basically, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you're playing on a TI-84, then these graphics will not look as stunning, and that's something that I think a lot of people ha had trouble with in the night in Salem is that they were trying to play game 33 on the same computer that they were playing game six on and it did not right. perform well but i can i can confidently say that at least our our experience will play well because our computer can run red dead 2 <laughs> so <laughs> that's a good measurement yeah um oh, this is exciting i feel like if we wanted to go through every frame of this we could learn things about the story but i honestly don't Dude. want to i want to go in as blind this as i can this is such an exciting era for Vote for Hold with approaching 10,000 subs and the new Nancy Drew game. Yeah, this is, this is pretty, pretty, pretty crazy. And uh, I think we'll go ahead and say now that we are planning to, if we if the stars align, the three of us are going to try to re record our first triple blind play play playthrough, where all three of us are going to try to be fighting for a chair at this desk to play the game together for the first time. So yeah. that'd be really that's going to be a wild ride. No, I'm I'm excited. Well, well done, her interactive. That was a good trailer. Bravo, Vince. So, something that really is <laughs> is coming to my attention here is that we have a lot of scenes where there's fog like coming out of doors and in places like this. I feel like this is going to be a Nancy Drew game with a heavy emphasis on nightmare scenes, like how Blackmore Manor was. That would and, be cool. And that would obviously also, that would also explain why there's a knight chasing us. Yeah, I mean, there, there. I think there's some very clear Blackmore inspiration in this game, which has me really excited. Yeah, Blackmore. No. Blackmore remains in my top three games, probably. I fucking love Blackmore. I oh. can see it's inspired. No. Yeah. Like, look at that shot. Oh, that that shot was just really good. The that the horse. horse that, yeah. yeah. This is. That's a beautiful one. I wonder if this is an in-game cutscene, awesome. or if it's just for the trailer. Yeah. Is Prague? Is that in the Czech Republic? Is that right? I did have to look it up. I think I think you're right. Let's you know. Let's just confirm before we go ahead through it. I mean, I got uh, it. Prague is in capital of and the Czech Republic. Yes. It, so sorry, but it, it, I mean, it just looks like there's a good amount of like cathedrals or churches from what we saw, or at least inspired architecture in that trailer. The heart of this historic. Uh, hang on, listen to this like Wikipedia entry on it. Um, the city of a hundred spires is its nickname. It's known for its old town square, the heart of its historic core, colorful Baroque buildings, Gothic churches, and the medieval astronomical clock. I feel like these are all. This is the astronomical mm. clock right here. So this yeah. is this is much like how they rendered the town square of Salem, Massachusetts. This is a faithful rendering of the town square of Prague. Is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. I concur. Cool. I'm excited that they went with a place that I know nothing about and will probably never visit in my own life <laughs> because it just means that we get that, that Nancy Drew pseudo vacation experience where we get to go somewhere new. Just Midwest town in, in Salem, Massachusetts was a little uh, funky. I'm really hoping we get to see a lot of like medieval drawings like they featured in that one screen. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be more of a history, a history, um, a history game. And I think that's going to be really cool. Yeah, I'm I'm truly gonna watch it like five more times today and really break it down. But I also have to get to class. So look how many extras <laughs> they just have in this shot. Like this is way more than Midnight in Salem, and they are actually it, doing things like holding I, conversations. I, I really I really like the color palette. It's pretty. Yeah, the day and night is great. A Nancy mm -hmm. Drew with a day and night cycle does wonders for the immersion. So right. Oh, for sure. It's oh. just very diverse environments from what we saw. Where I feel as, and it's not to its own fault because I think. Midnight in Salem, there's not too much diversity you can capture there, but it, it did feel very similar in most places. Right. So, I, I'm excited. This hyped me up. So did Midnight in Salem for a time, but I'm more optimistic this this time around. Yeah, I'm, I'm so ready to give this game a fair shake. It's, it's 
got me pretty excited, especially just to have an actual mystery to solve again. I know. We're gonna actually we're so when we actually do a playthrough of this game, we're gonna have to like do a, a competition about like our who's, suspicions. Yeah, who's right? We're gonna. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to like place wagers on like the winner gets a prize and the losers, I don't know, get taste or something. <laughs> let's let's not go there. Let's let's not go there. Kaylee's not confident <laughs> in her mystery solving skills. It seems. No, and I also don't want you to tase yourself. We should all dress up as detectives. That would like, be great. We can all dress up as Columbo. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Ev everyone gets trench coats. <laughs> I will <laughs> smoke a funny. pipe in my bedroom and lower the real estate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and uh, just one more thing. Uh, you, I just seem to ask because you seem to know about these things. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. All right. Okay. Um, I will cut you guys loose now because I know that we're all very busy and in different parts of Ohio. So, y'all have a nice day and thank you for making the time to call and watch this with me. This has been really of fun. Of course. Thank yeah, you, fans, for, for a swift 9,000 subscribers and stay, stay with us. Stay yeah. with us as we play this game soon. Alrighty. Vote for Holt now. <laughs> Vote for Holt.